Good afternoon, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to the University of Cambodia's Forum for Success special lecture on your future, your success. Before we begin our program today, I would like to invite you to rise for the national anthem. Please. I would like to invite members of the University of Cambodia Student Senate to come give a blessing dance performance. Please enjoy.
Thank you very much, ladies. That was an excellent dance. Now I'd like to invite Dr. Gao Kim Horn, founder, chairman of the Board of Trustees, and president of the University of Cambodia to deliver the welcome speech. Dr. Gao. to see Dr. Sorry, Dr. Peter Ong, International President of Prince City Group and all the distinguished members of his group, the one of all, Buddhist monks, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, faculties and students. On behalf of the board trustees of the University of Cambodia, the management team, the staff, the faculty, and students, let me extend a very warm welcome to Excellency Dr. Sri, Dr. Peter Ong, and his entire group here to this special event that we organize today. Today is indeed an exciting day for the University of Cambodia as we have special guests and his uh, company members. And of course, our special guests will share with us a very meaningful lecture later on for the benefits of our community here, particularly our students. This is part of our uh, 
forum success, and you know that uh, I can say that the three Dr. Peter Ong is uh, very much an eminent person, and he has achieved much success in his life, and he has been on a number of trips, particularly at humanitarian charity trips, not to Cambodia, but also to other countries uh, in this part of the world, particularly in East Asia, Southeast Asia, and, the South, and South Asia. I want to, uh, first of all, exp uh, to inform, uh, I can say, and all the distinguished that the UNICEF Cambodia, this year we celebrate our 15th anniversary since the founding in 2003. Over 15 years, we have graduated more than 4,000 alumni. Today, they are currently in key positions in the society. Some of them have gone overseas for advanced degree trainings from around the world and around the world. This year also, we uh, have taken the opportunity to continue to expand the university. And particularly, we have created and launched the UNS Cambodia funding campaign 2018-2023, which of course, we want to make sure that we will continue to improve the quality of academic training at this university, but also improve access to education, higher education for our young Cambodian students by expanding the opportunity for education. I must also reiterate that our subject that you sign, Prime Minister of King Cambodia, has outlined as one of the key priorities of the right government of Cambodia, and that is human resource development. The right government of Cambodia has put human resource development in Cambodia as the number one priority among the four priorities. And particularly, some major Johan Zion, our prime minister, have always attached great importance to education, to training, education, human resource development. So this is going to be as we move toward building a knowledge-based economy. Education also is a vehicle for poverty reduction in our country. Our Prime Minister also has outlined that Cambodia would like to become a high income development country by 2050. So between now and 2050, we have 32 more years to focus on education, particularly higher education training. And that's why training young people is the key priority for the government. Today, let me uh, say a few words about our guest of honor. And uh, we want to all also to recognize uh, our outstanding eminent uh, guest of honor, who, of course, not only uh, XC, Dr. Sri, Dr. Peter Ong, who have joined a list of other outstanding individuals who are change, changing the world and providing an important role model for the Cambodian youth. Dr. Three, Dr. Peter Ong is an influential businessman from Malaysia. And we can also, he also an international uh, business, uh, important personality, who is adept and flexible with the business opportunities, and who have been very generous, and who has a long history of philanthropy. Not now also in Cambodia, but also in other countries around the world. So when I actually met him yesterday at a function of my dear friend, uh, General uh, Yusri Wood, and uh, we were able to connect it very fast. And today uh, we have this opportunity. And we are happy that you and your uh, group of distinguished personality are here with us on this campus at the UNS Cambodia. Also, as part of this uh, uh, three, uh, doc, uh, Dr. Uh, Sri, Dr. Uh, Peter Ong will share with us his experience 
but also he has kindly offered to make a general donation to the Yun Cambodia to benefit the uh, students, particularly those who are underprivileged, uh, who, are, who may not have otherwise opportunity to pursue higher education. And that's really the, uh, the goal that we have also at the university, but also to support the goal of our prime minister, who's always think about the youth, the young people of this country, of the society. So we are very proud that, that you, uh, we're proud and excited that you will be announcing later on your generous contribution to the UNS Cambodia to benefit younger people in this country. Certainly, Dr. Sri Dr. Peter Ong is very much a selfless, kind uh, person and has recognized the importance of education and sees the great potential of Cambodia as uh, uh, becoming more and more developed country. And you know, for this country, in the 20, past 21 years, Cambodia has enjoyed more than 70% of economic growth rate and is growing very fast. It's one of the uh, fast growing economies in the world today as recognized by the World Bank and also by the Asian World Bank. So uh, by supporting the Cambodia, Cambodia, Cambodia can development in Cambodia, can become a regional force. And of course, education will continue to strengthen us and also consolidate us and empower us. So with that, let me uh, one, once again extend a very warm welcome to Excellency uh, Dr. Sri Dr. Peter Ong and his entire team here. Of course, uh, he has a strong team here, uh, staff of also who have uh, uh, very much uh, a strong dedication to support him. And we are very happy to have him and let us hear uh, his uh, good wisdom, his uh, practical advice, his insight, and also his inspiration, because given his rich experience and his particularly uh, self-made success individual. Thank you very much, and a good afternoon to all of you. Thank you very much for those remarks. So now I'd like to invite Dr. Sri Dr. Peter Ong, the international president of the Prince Sun City Group to deliver your special lecture on your success, your future, your success. Thank you. I just can speak one uh, Cambodia one word. Bong slang on. Yeah. So, I just speak Chinese. Can you help me translate? Got a few seconds. Hey, can you just speak Chinese? So, basically, we are Wang Zi Tai Yang Chen. Uh,我是王子太阳城的总裁，我们的愿望是希望带领着我们全球的会员、全球的粉丝到全世界各个地方需要的帮忙的地方进行慈善活动，所以呃下个星期呃二十三号我们就飞往斯里兰卡了。เอ่อชื่อโจทย์ศรีสันคือตื้อได้ระบบเอ่อกรมพลพินสันสิทธิคือกอดเจ้าคณะดักนอมเอ่อเจ้าประธานรัฐบาลพินสันสิทธิกอ
，进而让所有全世界各个地、各个国家的人，都可以把他一生的支出化为收入。ในขนมกลมให้นางประชาพลรัฐเตียงอ้อเลยเพิ่มนี้อาจยกในอวัยใดที่กำลังยุ่งเชี่ยมเราบอกกอดมวยชีวิตนี้บ่มไหลในใจ
Let me share some other information with you, and uh, just bear with me while I scroll down on my computer. Um, we have graduated over 4,000 students, and these students, uh, these graduates, many of whom I have met, have very impressive careers in government, academia, and the private sector. They are our voice, and we're very proud of the far-reaching impact that these graduates have had on the region. But now it's time to widen our scope and contribute more to the future of the country. Therefore, as part of our 15th anniversary, we are appealing for a funding of $3 million over the next five years. It sounds like a lot, but if all of us contribute a little something, it's not as difficult, I believe, as it sounds, because I believe that the future of this country is in its youth, and uh, these are some of the people that I teach and I'm proud to teach, and um, I see their future as an exciting future. Now, it's common to look at the potential of a country in terms of its agriculture, say its tourism, or its manufacturing. But I believe that the potential of a country is in its human resources, in its people. The people are the future of a country. And uh, these are the people that we want to cater to and help and assist in their future development. Um, and I should add that our Prime Minister Samdak, Prime Minister Hun Sen, has declared that human resource development is the number one priority for Cambodia. So it's a particularly exciting time for us because not only is youth the, and human capital so important for the future of this country, so is education, because it's education that opens the doors to the future and enables people to ride the wave of the future. Um, now, having said that, we need your help. We can't do all of this on our own. I think we've been doing extremely well in the graduates that I see graduating from here. But we can do better, and to capitalize on the potential of this country, I believe that we need help in particular to prioritize students in promoting their academic and professional goals, to focus on research, which is really the driving engine of development, um, to build conducive and modern learning and research environments to raise the standards of teaching and the quality of our academics, which is what we are doing. And I feel this energy in the University of Cambodia uh, in the comparatively short time that I've been here. Now, in particular, the University of Cambodia has identified key areas where funding is most needed. Let me quickly run through these with you. Timoy, student scholarships and stipends. We believe in helping the students from socioeconomic groups who might not otherwise be able to access education. And if we talk about the growth potential of Cambodia, these are often the, the people that are most concerned. We need um, academic endowments and scholarships. Uh, and we need to endow chairs and professorships to attract the best people in the world. Research, uh, we, need to trans we need to transition not just into a, a teaching university that produces high-quality graduates, 
but a research institution because these are the standards by which we are judged. Not only that, this is the driving engine of the future. We would like to provide better sports uh, complex developments. This is partly a question of teamwork, but it's also that when students are studying hard, they need some sporting outlets to be able to, <laughs> I think, cope with the very long hours of study and the pressures involved. We have identified library development as very important. We already have one of the best university libraries in Cambodia, but we need to expand this both electronically and in hard copy books. Um, we need, in the, in the short term future, student dormitories, if we are true to our goal of providing education to underprivileged uh, young people. This means people from the provinces and particularly girls who may otherwise find travel or living conditions on their own in the city too difficult. Um, we would like to also develop science laboratories. Science is one of the driving engines of the future. And uh, the royal government of Cambodia is emphasizing the STEM projects, which are science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So we need the facilities to supply these needs. Now, the Tekosen School of Government and International Relations is the first degree-granting public policy institution in Cambodia. And TSS, as we call it, needs to provide the best for the best in the best possible educational building and in a dedicated building. That's to attract the best students. Now, there are other big population or gr rapidly growing population centers in Cambodia. These include Siem Reap, of course, and also Kampot. We would like to expand into these growing areas to capitalize on the number of available students there with new campuses. It's a part of the growth factor that we need to look forward to. Um, we not only need some new facilities, but of course we need to maintain our existing 11-story building and all the facilities we have already developed because we want to continue to offer the highest and the best possible facilities. Now, how to donate? Of course, the simple donation is some money, however small or however insignificant you might think it is. It's a big deal to us here at the University of Cambodia. Now, you can not only donate in terms of money, you can donate books, you can donate anything that you think might be of use here, supplies, or you can donate your time. In my opinion, our time is the most valuable thing that we have, and the donation of that would be deeply appreciated. Donors are also encouraged to make yearly pledges. We <laughs> would like to open the doors. Now, we will recognize you in different and, I think, important ways. If you donate money to us, we will grant scholarships in your name. We will name facilities after you. We will name endowed chairs after you, professorships, departments, or buildings. We will provide certificates of appreciation and letters of acknowledgement. We will publicly publicize you across different platforms, including special publications, Facebook, and our um, UC website. 
So this is an opportunity to be part of the future and to be part of what I have observed here in Cambodia as an exciting future, one that's full of vitality, potential, possibility. And it's like the feeling of a wave that's building up here in Cambodia that I believe if we can capitalize on this with goodwill and quality, that we will be offering something very substantial for the future. Thank you for this opportunity to talk to you. Thank you, Dr. Mike. So now I'd like to invite Dr. Shri, Dr. Peter Ong to offer a special donation to the University of Cambodia and Dr. Kao Kim Horn will receive the donation and deliver him a bouquet of flowers and a certificate of appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to invite Dr. Kao Kim Horn to please deliver the closing remarks. Thank you very much. I just see Dr. Lato, Sri Dr. Pirong. We have heard your remarks, although it's brief, but uh, certainly meaningful, uh, particularly from your group, uh, the uh, Prince uh, Sunset Group. I'm sure all of us uh, with the current uh, what we call modern technology, you can access and learn more about the Prince Sun City Group. Uh, also, the spirit of the donation today uh, emphasize the global culture of sharing wealth. And that's really an uh, important spirit that would go a long way, not only to benefit those really need most. But certainly, the spirit would inspire so many others who would also join you in making the contribution, perhaps to the Un to Yun's Cambodia, but more importantly to Cambodia as a society, as a country, but also to other countries that you believe that your contribution will make a great impact on that society and people. So I think by being with us this afternoon, 
uh, you have kindly inspired us that at this stage in your life, you have worked very hard with your own group, your own company, but yet you're willing to share part of those uh, achievements, but also part of your success, part of your wealth, that you have earned it uh, uh, very hard, and to those who uh, would be less fortunate. So I think we can look at this as an important role model, that as we, particularly students who will be graduating, or those who have already graduated, our alumni, who have done quite well in their respective careers, and they would come back, not only to donate to the university, but also to, do, to donate to communities where they belong, where they believe that they would like to see their contribution will make a significant contribution. So I think that's a, that's a very important message for us today. It's a very important symbol. The, the, the message is very clear that uh, your contribution, uh, of course, this is a very generous contribution of $100,000. In the Cambodian context, it's a very important contribution, and it will help the University of Cambodia expanding the scholarship opportunities for the students. I think a lot of young Cambodians are here. They're currently study this university, and many of them are on scholarships. Perhaps maybe I can ask them how many of the students here, present here, how many are on scholarships? Can you raise your hand? How many are on your scholarships? All those who are on scholarships. So this is just, just a small group of people who are on scholarship. We have roughly about 80% of our student enrollment who are on scholarship, and they are benefiting from donations such as yours, your generous donation, uh, that will help them to achieve the goal of uh, receiving higher education in this current uh, age of time, that education is the way forward because we now have a knowledge-based global economy and the competition is very fierce, and that's why it's important to have education. And also a very important contribution to Cambodia as we empower the people through human development. And this is one of the key priorities of our Prime Minister, Samet Dejo Hun San, yes. So education is certainly an opportunity, but it's also a gift. And that everyone should not waste this opportunity to study. And I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the University of Cambodia, the students, staff, the management, and the Board of Trustees to extend our sincere uh, gratitude uh, to Agency Dr. Sri Dr. Peter Ong, International President of Prince Sun City Group and his entire group, uh, who is the members of, of, of his team that accompany him this afternoon. And thank you for your time, thank you for your donation, and thank you for your advice earlier as uh, you shared with us on the importance of your uh, Prince Sun City group. So with that, uh, let me uh, wish you all the very best as you will continue to visit Cambodia. Hopefully you will find Cambodia as your second home eventually. And of course, as you expand your business, your business empire to Cambodia, and through other parts of the world. As you see your business rise, uh, and we wish you the very best and bring more successes, more achievements to you and to your entire group. And a good afternoon to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for those remarks. We have one more performance today by our UCSS members. This is called the Praying Dance Performance. So please enjoy.
Thank you so much to our dancers. So now I'd like to invite our distinguished guest for a photo session just right here. So thank you very much. This concludes our events. I hope you enjoyed the lecture. So you're now dismissed. Thank you so much, everyone.